Astrid, hey! Hey, Rod, how's it going? Fantastic, so good to see you. Thank you for taking time out of your glorious golden weekend, your only golden weekend so far. Astrid is one of our favorite interns this year. Getting to be a medical student here, you get a more intimate look at the surgery program. I mean, what brought you into Wright State's surgery program and made you want to stay? Oh. So many things. Um, so I guess as I started my um, rotation in third year for surgery, I just had the best team. Um, I remember uh, I was at Kettering and I had um, Savannah Kipfer, who was uh, pregnant at the time. She was like eight months pregnant. And, you know, at that point, I was really enjoying surgery. I really liked um, the hands-on experience I was getting, but I was a little hesitant being a single mom. I was like, you know, a little intimidated about the surgery lifestyle and just kind of being able to talk with her and our attending, Dr. Saw Miller, um, who's also a mom. Um, and they just were so so supportive and made it seem, you know, so possible to, to be a female in surgery and also be a mother and balance life. I'm glad that you were lucky enough to see both an attending and then a resident who were going through a process that seemed to really resonate with you. But speaking of which, big part of your life I know is your daughter. How's it adjusting to residency and everything been with, with having a little one around the house? It's been so good. Um, Emily's a good kiddo. She's going to be six years old next month. Wow. And I don't know. I think I just kind of set the expectation for her. Um, even though she's only five, like I try to have real like person conversations with her. So before intern year started, I kind of sat her down. And of course, like during COVID, we had so much time together. And so I kind of like told her that things were going to change and that I was going to be a lot busier. My schedule was going to be very hectic and she was going to be spending more time with her um, grandmother and stuff. Um, and so she seemed to understand. And after the first week of intern year, she sent me a video recording saying that she missed me a lot, but that she was very excited for me, that I was a doctor and that I was doing the things that made me happy, but that she missed yeah. me. And that, yeah, it was like so heartfelt and I was like teary, but also like so happy. <laughs> yeah, I, she, How do you not cry? I know. <laughs> But it's cute because she's like very proud of me and uh, you know that just makes me feel like I made the right choice you know. Who else is around town here to uh, to help you out? Yeah so my mom and grandmother and sister were crazy enough to move with me from Miami Florida to Ohio for medical school so they've been here ever since and they all really love it. My sister actually started her undergrad um, at Wright State last year so she's you know, started college there already. So we're all kind of immersed in the Ohio community. Yeah, that's a big change, I think, from Miami, Florida to to Ohio. No, they haven't disowned me after the winters. I was sure they were never going to speak to me again. Oh, how was that? How was the first winter for them? <laughs> it was, it was kind of crazy. We moved here in the beginning of April, and it actually started snowing. It was like April 3rd or 4th or something, and it snowed, and none of us had any jackets. <laughs> I think, like, I had a jean jacket somewhere in the U-Haul, and Emily was in this little t-shirt. So the first thing we did was go to Costco and buy actual coats. And yeah, I was sure they were going to turn around and go back to Florida after that. <laughs> yeah, that is quite the shell shock to pull yeah. up in April because you don't think like oh it's April it's no spring. it's spring <laughs> you know it's gonna be spring weather yeah. wrong no. not in Ohio no, no. <laughs> yeah. how's it been you got a uh, about a month under your belt right so how's it been for you it's been really good honestly I think um you know trauma I started on trauma for my first block um which you know is it can be pretty rough because it's a long day. Um, I would get out, you know, sometimes at like 7 or 7.30 p.m. And, um, but I don't know, coming home to Emily, she just like re-energizes me. So even after 
luckily it's like summer so it doesn't get dark until like 9 30 or 10. Right. So I would get home and we would go straight to the playground and be there for like an hour or so, you know, until it got kind of dark and we would have like a picnic outside as our like dinner. And, you know, it was nice. I don't know. I haven't really That's had amazing. any complaints. Yeah. That's great. What, what other stuff do you like to do when you're not working the crazy trauma hours, that trauma lifestyle? What else are you doing when you're outside of the hospital? So on my, I had like a random Monday off. And I picked Emily up from school at like 11 a.m. It was like right at nap time and she, and she loved it. We went to um, Young's Dairy Farm. Yes, tell Africa her, I don't think applicants know what um, Young's Dairy Farm amazing. is. So what it's is like it? fun for the whole family. Uh, there is a driving range. Um, they have, for the kiddos, they have like a jump house and a slide and mini miniature golf. And then of course they have ice cream and cheese curds which are amazing that ice cream is amazing yeah it's full dairy straight from the cows that are like a block yeah, away they're right there yeah right, right there on the property <laughs> you can even watch them milk the cows if you want to yeah i've done that it doesn't smell great in there so i i appreciate the process i think maybe that's just me being uh, a millennial and being like yeah. Let them make the ice cream. I'm going to eat it. It's so good. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to go there. Have you ever gone there in the fall? Yeah, I've been there like so every season. Every, like I've gone so many times. I love that place. Did you do the pumpkin yes. patch stuff? Yeah, and then they take you on that, what whatever they call the like hay ride. On yeah. The truck. Yeah. So you guys like to go, you like to spend time with your daughter. You guys like to go outside. It sounds like, yeah, um, hiking. um, there's a couple of places around here where you can do some really great, like canoeing or kayaking. Yeah. Um, where do you like to go hiking? Um, oh, hiking. We go, we've been to like all of the Metro parks. We actually, during COVID, that was our activity. We got this huge, um, Metro park map that had like 20 different parks and we just every time we would check off the ones that we went to so we went to the like butterfly garden we went to um there was some parks the um what was the one i just told you the sugar creek park um yellow springs of course has like two or three different trails that you can oh, do of so course not, yeah um but yeah i still have that map somewhere in emily's room she likes to look at it did you guys get through all of them or no we got through all of them during COVID. oh my gosh yeah well, Astrid, I feel like we've done this before. We've, we can talk forever, mm -hmm. but our time is up. I, I appreciate you for taking time out of your, your day off here to chat with me and let the applicants kind of know about you and a little bit about uh, what it's like to be a mom and be an intern on trauma. I mean, that's a really unique perspective. So thank you so much for chatting. Of course. Thanks for reaching out. Yeah, of course. I will right, well, enjoy the rest of your night. And I'll see you in the hospital. See you around. All right, see ya. If you want more information about how to apply to our general surgery residency program, follow the link below. That's all for this time. Thanks for watching.